through at 6 45 p.m and i started having contractions like two hours later i was not expecting it to work like there was no way i just wanted to say that i had tried it to prove it wrong pretty much if you guys aren't familiar with the midwife's brew it has apricot juice lemon verbena tea castor oil and almond butter and the almond butter is supposed to counteract the negative effects of castor oil so i have not had to go number two at all and it's safe for the baby because um the almond butter like soaks up the negative effects of the castor oil so i decided to try it and i think it worked <laughs> these are pretty painful but i i'm gonna have to call my mom to come watch the kids and jeff is asleep and of course the kids are asleep because it's four o'clock in the morning and i'm starving but i'm also also nauseous so my contractions are still kind of irregular like they'll come for five or six minutes and then they'll come for three minutes apart and then they'll like have a space and then but they're not stopping and they haven't stopped since probably like eight o'clock tonight so i'm about to have another one. Oh my god All right, so I woke up Jeff like 15 minutes ago and I texted my mom and told her I think she needs to come because my app was like, you should go to the hospital. I have this fear that they're gonna like check me and I'm not gonna be dilated at all and they're gonna send me home. But the contractions are like for real. They're coming about every, I haven't timed them in a while, but it's like three to four minutes and they hurt so I think I might have waited a little bit too long I just threw on a dress because I don't want anything touching my belly no pants I have underwear on but I wish I didn't have an underwear or underwear or a bra on and I washed my hair earlier when I was having some little contractions, but so I'm glad that I did that, but I obviously do not have time for this. So, sorry guys. This is what you get. I'm probably about to have a contraction here in a minute. It's been, it's been a little while. Oh God, they hurt so bad. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it to the hospital. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, man. We're not going to make it. No. Oh. I feel like I need to throw up. Want 
some ice, honey. Can I get in there? Yeah. Make sure that it's not down here. I'm so sorry to bust with bubble, but no videoing, guys. Okay. She was so calm. She was just like, did your water break? Yeah, the contraction. And I'm like, I feel like the baby's gonna come out. Yeah, I that's the they, first thing you said. I don't think they believe me. I said, I feel like the baby's gonna come out. She was like, she feels like the baby's gonna come out. And she didn't believe me. And they checked me, and I was at a ten, so the baby was about to come out. But it was so painful. Like I can't even. If for everyone who has not had any medication for your delivery. You're a freaking rock star. He literally shot out. Like I had my eyes closed and I pushed and I felt something shoot out, but I didn't know if it was him or not. Like I was just. The doctor literally caught him. Yeah, and then I opened my eyes and saw that he was there and I was like, oh my God. So the top part of his head is bruised because it came out so fast, but they said it will go away, you know, a few days, so. When you yeah. say shot out, like she literally was no. like, yes. hands by her side and literally like, caught she him from him hitting either. the ground. He was seven pounds, one out, so it's our smallest baby. 19 and a half inches long. He's so cute. With a perfectly round head. He's got dark hair on his head and he's got little dark hairs on his shoulders, which was super weird to see. Because <laughs> I don't remember any of the other boys having dark hair on their shoulders. So yeah, fourth baby does not mess around. That was intense. And we weren't allowed to film the delivery. I really wanted to have the camera up here by my face so that you could see what was going on from here up and then when he came out but that wasn't allowed and the rest of it you guys would not have wanted to see it was pretty bad right honey yeah it was anybody wanted to see it. i was really concerned for you because it was rough so anyways we're um trying to figure out what his name is so. we've had you know 38 weeks to try to figure it out but <laughs> Like people don't actually, they won't actually believe. No. But have you ever seen where like, they throw the fish in Seattle at the fish market? That's how she caught this kid. It was crazy. I'm thankful that she caught him because I wasn't, no one was expecting that. I don't she was that. literally like a the, foot and a half away the from me. look on her face when I opened my eyes was like, oh my gosh. And me too, because I was like, what just shot out of there? <laughs> she was she was standing back away from you. She was like not with her hands here. She was back like this and caught the baby like it was like a pitch play in football. It was crazy. Well, I'm glad she had good reflexes because yeah, she must have been a running back because hit the floor. <laughs> yeah, that was nuts. She's got quick reflexes. Now he's just eating. He hasn't squeaked, he's barely cried. This guy's love his book. Do you think he looks like Cash or Coop? Mm -hmm. No. I think he looks like his dad and none of the others look like <laughs> his dad. That's what I think. This is the first baby that I looked at and I said, hey, I think he might look like me. 
So that's good. I was thinking they looked like me. When I looked at him. But you're wrong. <laughs> so, honey, did you decide on his name? No. Okay. I'm letting you have a hundred percent of this. Get a good look. It's gonna change in like a day. He doesn't really open this eye. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's that was the eye is like bigger. It was all bruised and bulgy. Be Poor baby. That I see me. Yep. yep, I got one. I got one. One that looks like me. I got one. So tell them why. We had to rush in the middle of the night to have this baby. Okay, so what I was saying earlier when I was having contractions is that I took the midwife's brew. And what is a midwife's brew? <laughs> so I had a friend of mine who does my hair tell me that it worked for her. And so I decided to try it because I am full term. Like, it's okay to have a baby at this point. I did not take it thinking it was actually going to work. Like, I had the most, like, I just wanted to say I tried it and it didn't work and prove it wrong because that's just how I am. And it ended up working. I started having contractions, like, two hours later. And I think if your body's not ready, it's not going to work. But that's why I figured it would work for me because on Tuesday, my cervix was zero. And I was having contractions last night, but I was like, what if I get there? And they're like, mm, contractions aren't doing anything. We're going to go home. And then I get here and I'm at a 10. So it's safe to say that the midwife's brew works. Now, do you have any tips about timing of taking the drink? Because it seems to me that drinking that drink at like eight okay. o'clock at night. Here's why I took it in the evening. I figured like, I, I don't, like I get some contractions throughout the day, but they get worse at nighttime. So I thought if it's gonna work, I have a better chance of it actually working in the evening because I already get contractions, so maybe I'll just make them stronger. Uh -huh. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Yeah. But I had like no laxative effect from the castor oil. Like that's what people freak out about. I had no problems with that because the almond butter counteracts the problem. That's why they put almond butter in the recipe so that that doesn't happen. So. I don't know what to say other than it worked for me, so if you're 40 weeks and dying to have a baby, try the midwife's brew. Uh-huh.